Hey there, welcome to another episode of Mundane Designs. I'm your host Mundane, this video is part of my company review series, and today we're going to be talking about Atlas. Growing up, I never really paid attention to which game companies I was collecting. I ran through and just basically bought the games that I loved. I would either try them with friends, or I would get suggestions from friends, or even rent them, and then go back and purchase things. And this is how I accidentally became an Atlas fan. It was just one of those things where I just ran across a bunch of the games in my collection, and I noticed a pattern that it's like a lot were Capcom, a lot were Konami, and a lot were Squaresoft, and then the next biggest collection of games was Atlas, and I never really paid attention to this company before. So Atlas was founded in Tokyo, Japan, April 7th, 1986. And it's actually a really good company. They do lots of various games, mainly sticking to the RPG genre. They usually have, they're pretty infamous for having really low print runs. You know, they brought us games like Ogre Battle, Luminous Arc 1 and 2, which was one of my favorite RPG series for the Nintendo DS. If you haven't, check those games out. I, I highly suggest it. Dodon Pachi, which is this wonderful, bright, brilliant, colorful, vertical shooter. The Persona series is another thing that they're famous for. Dragon's Crown, which is a game that I stream quite often. It's just a great beat-em-up. They, they brought us that game. And one of my favorite underground fighters, which has, you know, become more to like back then on the original PlayStation, Guilty Gear. Yeah, they brought us Guilty Gear, and that's another wonderful game. Like I said, I kind of accidentally became a fan of theirs, and, you know, all the cover art and the and the selection of games that they have and stuff like that. Yeah. So nowadays, as I'm older and wiser, I do look out for Atlas and I'm actively looking for some of their stuff because as I've discovered that there is with these really good games, you know, like Ogre Battle and stuff like that. They have really good quality and really good games, and they're in high demand. And there was a really low print run, so that makes these games very sought after and very expensive nowadays. So now I, I purposely go out looking for Atlas stuff just to make sure that I'm not missing out on a good experience. I think that everyone should look out for Atlas a little bit more. Now they're not as big a name as like Squaresoft, or now they're called Square Enix, or any of the big name companies, but they're worth your time, they're, they're worth keeping in the back of your mind. If you can find an older Atlas game for cheap, pick it up. More often than not, you're not going to be sorry. Well, that's it for this episode of Mondane Designs. I'm your host, Mondane, and I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I enjoyed making it. If you like what you can see, you can support me and my channel on Patreon by clicking one of the links below. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a wonderful day.